Hello, this is me, Peter from Peter's Technology. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about dual monitor setup. In here, you have a computer and you have one monitor hooked up to it. This has the resolution of 1920 by 1080, so it's full HD. And nowadays we have monitors with even higher resolution. We have like 2K, 4K and even 5K displays, but we all need a lot of workspace, a lot of room to arrange their windows, to put them the way we want them. And well, sometimes one display is not enough because uh, let's say you're making a presentation in PowerPoint. You can uh, align those windows um, in a way that PowerPoint is occupying half of the screen and Google Chrome, let's say, is occupying another half because you have some information you need for the presentation inside, inside Google Chrome. Let's say a, a page on Wikipedia about, about the topic you, you, want, you want to use and uh, you have PowerPoint on the second half just to have them all visible at once. But it is not very convenient, so to speak, because really uh, you don't have that much room to read everything, to align the text properly and you don't have enough room to see your slide the way you would like it. So if you want more room, more workspace to enjoy, you can hook up another monitor. So let's say in this example, you want a second monitor. Wow, it's here, amazing. <laughs> so you have now two monitors hooked into that single computer. And what, what you can do with them? Well, you can, for example, open File Explorer and you can drag your windows around just to have some fun. Uh, Yes, but then get back to work. So, uh, pretty much, you can just launch Chrome and put it on this monitor. You can, of course, re rearrange it. You can put it on this monitor. You can put it on this monitor as you like it. Uh, and then you go to Labs and you go to Microsoft Office and then PowerPoint here. So, you can just have your PowerPoint presentation running here. You can just start making it uh, and find information you need on this display. It's very convenient and it saves you a lot of time. It makes your work, you know, a pleasure. So now let me show you a few scenarios in which using many monitor setup is more convenient and handy than using just a single monitor. The more monitors you have, the more places you get and the ways you get to rearrange your windows. Your workspace can really be customized in many, many more ways. For example, we can have Twitter in our browser on one monitor and the second can be filled with financial news and just ordinary news side by side. We can also have side by side on each monitor, having four windows open at once. As you can see, moving windows around is no problem. We can even have one half of the window on one display and the second half on another. But I don't know anybody who uses it that way. I believe that it is better to have your window on either one or the other display. You can easily drag and drop various content from one display to another. Look at that beautiful landscape. Let's imagine we are working on a presentation in PowerPoint. We can easily go to Wikipedia and find the right page we want with the information we need for that particular presentation and we can have it open on one display while working on the presentation on the other. In this case I am creating a sample presentation about a beautiful region of Poland called Kujawy. You can easily copy and paste text between monitors and between your windows. Now let's adjust the font delete hyperlinks and the text will be ready to go. Now add a beautiful photo or a map in that case. And our first slide is ready. 
then let's add that beautiful landscape we have seen before. Just drag and drop, and you have it there. Having multiple displays means we don't have to switch between windows and lose our track of what's going on inside each of those windows. Now our sample presentation is ready. You can clearly see how multiple displays improved our workflow. Now create a simple sample word document about another beautiful region of Poland called Pomerania or Pomorze in our language. You can just drag and drop information as you would in PowerPoint. Now let's adjust formatting, delete those annoying hyperlinks. Add that picture. And we're good to go. The document is ready. And if you're keen on watching movies, you might have one movie playing on one display. And you can, for example, read the daily news on the other. Or you can even check your Twitter feed if you like to. As you can see, different sizes of our displays didn't cause any trouble whatsoever. Have I already encouraged you to try out multiple displays configuration? I hope I have. So I imagine now you all want this configuration to have up and running in your house, in your environment, because it's so exciting to have many monitors, it's so convenient and just great. Well, I'm going to show you how to plug everything in, how to set everything up um, on either a PC or a laptop, uh, whether you have integrated graphics or discrete graphics or laptop graphics, it's basically it doesn't matter. You just need the appropriate graphics card, which most of us already have, or the appropriate motherboard with at least two video outputs. Let me cover most of scenarios of plugging those things. In this graphics card we have DVI, HDMI and VGA ports. You can plug your monitor into each one of those. But you cannot use two digital sockets at the same time. So you can plug into DVI and VGA or HDMI and VGA. Plugging into HDMI and DVI is physically impossible for this card. This graphics card features four digital outputs to DVI, HDMI and DisplayPort. We can plug up to four monitors to this card at once. There are no restrictions on which ports you can use at the same time. To be exact, we're now looking at GeForce GTX 660. Here we can see a motherboard with integrated graphics. We see DVI and VGA ports. To both of them we can connect monitors and use them simultaneously without any problems. This motherboard features three outputs, DVI, VGA and HDMI. And again we cannot use two digital outputs at the same time. We can plug into DVI or HDMI and VGA. This motherboard has only one VGA port. Unfortunately, we cannot use it to achieve multiple display configuration. If we have a laptop computer, we can plug in a second display using analog VGA or digital HDMI port, in this case. If you are using built-in display, you can use only one additional video output. To current generation Apple laptops, you can plug external displays using a Thunderbolt port or mini display port of the same shape but slightly different symbol. But if you happen to have one of the older Apple laptops, you have to use mini DVI or mini VGA port. Sometimes to plug external displays in, you need to use an adapter. 
In this case, we have mini display port to HDMI. mini display port to DVI or mini display port to VGA You can buy those adapters in stores and online all around the world We can find many other adapters as well. Here we have from the left HDMI to DVI, DVI to VGA and HDMI extender. Now from the back. If you're not satisfied with just an adapter, you can get yourself a cable with different ends. Here you have HDMI and DVI, two different ends of the same cable. Here you can see just the ordinary HDMI cable the DVI cable and VGA cable, all of them with their plugs zoomed in. Before you buy any cable or adapter, just make sure you know exactly what ports your computer and monitor have. Once we have our monitors plugged in, we need to set them up somehow. To do so, just hold down Windows key and press P key many times in order to have the extend option on this bar on the right of your main screen selected. Then release those keys and you will have your desktop on multiple displays. If you want more detailed configuration, right-click on your desktop and choose Screen Settings. Here at the bottom of this window you have Advanced Display Settings and here you can change the arrangement of your screens as well as the Viewing Mode and Resolution in drop-downs available below. When you're satisfied, hit apply and close the window. So thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you, you like this configuration as much as I do. I actually use triple monitor setup for my daily work, but I sort of need that. Uh, and if you have modern graphics card which supports up to four or you have many graphics cards which support many monitors, you can hook uh, up to, I don't know, 12 displays to one PC. Uh, well, sky is the limit at this point and of course your pocket is the limit and that's the most important limit, I think. Um, so, uh, thank you very much for watching this video again and um, sort of this was my first video in English. I hope it went pretty well. Uh, if you have some thoughts about it, if you want to share, for example, your experience with many monitor uh, setup, you can do that in the comment section down below. Give me a thumb up if you liked the video and also consider subscribing to this channel because it helps me a lot, it makes me smile and everything. So thank you very much for watching again and uh, see you in the next video.